cell anemia normally has commonly been referred to in this part of the world, I mean the southwest, as an lapar just because of the symptoms that it comes with, that is bone pain. It is a disease that is genetically inherited from both parents that carries the sickle cell gene that is hemoglobin X. So if the two either of the or the two parents rather has this hemoglobin X, their offsprings are found to have what we call the sickle cell anemic disease that is hemoglobin SS. And um, often time it's always advised and at the same time something that is of importance for couples to know their genotype of course either of the parents once they have the, or the bear this S gene their geno- genetic component that tends to transmit it to their offspring mm, that's been about six months six months Okay. Get to know about my genotype when I can identify my left from my right. So, um, when I know that I'm SS, I still move ahead doing what I'm doing. Just that I know the do's, do's and don'ts. I got to know exactly my name as far back as 2013 when I returned to this hospital as resident. One patient that um, has done well because if you are to classify the severity of his disease, I would say it's actually mild to moderate. It's not really a very severe disease, I just like that. Because though it do comes around often or once in a while it's bone pain, but um, it is not as regular as some other patients. And um, I've discovered that the reason for this is that um, personally I've seen that he has accepted his uh, status and has learned how to deal with it. I do say that I do. I've never seen someone so strong like that. Like SS, like so strong, like Emmanuel. Uh, uh, yes, the senior sister. Oh my crisis are actually worse. But the, the one I can actually say that is the most difficult one I've ever experienced is the one I had in 2016 when I was rounding up my NYS. That one, I didn't expect that. I will still be able to walk or to be. Then I had one recent coconut last year. So this one, all the complications of doing a sickle cell, practicing, it leads to practicing. So there is a particular procedure I was doing. And imagine me living in hospital today. And the following week, I met myself for another admission. So then, I was even I was so bad. Like I felt, okay, this is going to be the end. This might be the end. This might be the end of it. So even till like that one lasted for like three months. Well, let me say one thing that I can say helped me is the passion I have for theater. Akwere is someone that is, you know, he will just never give up on whatever he does. His health has never been uh, a priority in his uh, career. Cash, money. It is difficult. Sickle cell is not a joking matter. It's difficult to manage. If I'm looking the way I'm looking now, or I'm being strong, 
lot of money has been committed. So, well, of course, the crisis or the being a sickle cell comes with a lot of things, a lot of pain, a lot of challenges, emotional, physical, and the likes. Coupled with the fact that if you don't have a backup, you may not survive it. How to go around, borrow money from people, getting loan from a cooperative in order to save your life. So at the end of the month, the, more, the whole salary, my whole salary was just finished. Bam. This is why I said that the farming added to my salary so that uh, it will go. It's not an easy thing to know. One of the greatest uh, challenge of most of the people that live with this disease is their ability to accept their status and be able to live with disease. Living with the disease in the sense that there are some do's and don'ts that an average person with this disease should know. Some you, but they don't practice. But it's actually a man has been able to understand this and observe these do's and don'ts. And I guess that is the reason why this disease to an extent can't mind to block it. I can't say I regret being a sickle cell because it's not my dream, so I can't say whether I regret it or not. But as sickle cell patients, you must understand yourself. Or else you will be in trouble and you put your parents in trouble. Even though they brought you into the world, but you must understand that genotype. So, so that you can adapt. It's not easy. You must say it's not easy. So for my fellow sickle cell warrior, I'm not a motivational speaker. And I will not motivate you with my words. Because I know it's not easy. But one thing is that anytime you're thinking about your crisis or you're in pain, think about the good part of it. What you want to become in life. Focus on that. The first thing is that you should accept who you are. This is you. I am SS. That is who I am. It, that one cannot be changed. Then two, your relationship is very important. Because as I said something earlier that there are a lot of complications attached to it. The physical, the emotional, and all sorts. Relationship is a key part of it. So you're, you must be certain of the genotype of your fiance or your relationship so that you don't want to bring SS patients into this world. The pain is doesn't want your own selfish um, desire or your selfish love. Uh, the advice I have to give to them is that uh, they should not uh, whenever they discover that they are shy that some of the has such a illness, they should not hide the test. They should try as much as possible to take proper, proper care of him or her. And the first thing is to seek medical help, not traditional help. Most of our patients get to the extreme end or danger part of this treatment when they begin to use local remedies which oftentimes though can give them a little succor but eventually the long-term effect of their system is not palatable. Oftentimes it leads to kidney failure, liver failure, it could even lead to stroke and then sometimes patients just could not survive blood being pulled in their organs which causes a stroke crisis.